gone are the days when you couldn't buy shares of companies like Apple and Tesla and Amazon or even Shopify because Wildsimple has introduced a new feature that will allow you to buy fractional shares. Hey everyone, just Vice here. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and share this video with some of your friends that are looking to start investing or are new to Wildsimple. Use the link below to get started with the Wealthsimple account so you can start with a little bit extra money for when you sign up. Stay tuned to the end of the video so that you can catch the entire step-by-step -step process of how to start investing with fractional buys. I'll see you there. So if you're new to Wealthsimple, they have several products that range from crypto to ETF portfolios and of course individual stocks. But the way that they've sort of positioned themselves on the Canadian market is allowing investors to start investing with as low as a single dollar. With Wealthsimple, you can now buy fractional shares, which means that you no longer require hundreds or thousands of dollars just to get your foot in the door. With Wealthsimple, they have 14 new stocks that allow you to buy fractional shares. And so that list starts with Tesla, Apple, Toronto Dominion Bank, and then Shopify, Amazon, Microsoft, Royal Bank, Canadian National Railway, Nvidia, Airbnb, Coinbase, Netflix, Facebook, and good old Alphabet. So that's 14 amazing companies ranging from the Canadian market to the US market as well. And within these different institutions, when you're buying a Canadian stock, of course, there are no fees whatsoever. Whereas when you're buying a US stock, there will be that currency exchange and a minimal fee because of that. But beyond that, what this really means for stocks and investors in the Canadian market more specifically is there's no real barrier to entry anymore. Anyone can start with fractional ownership. Okay, so if you watched my last video, you would have seen the three best bank stocks to buy in Canada, one of which is RBC, so the Royal Bank of Canada. So it's currently trading on the Canadian market in the ballpark of around $128 and that little pie chart icon at the top, you'll notice, means that it is able to be purchased at fractional buys. So it's trading at 128 bucks. We scroll down to the bottom where we wanna click the buy icon. Here, I'm gonna buy it within my TFSA. And now at the top, this is crucial. Instead of clicking market buy, you wanna click on this new uh, icon there called fractional buy. What this basically allows you is to buy a certain specified amount so a dollar amount of that particular stock so that um, you could essentially own a dollar equivalent to the amount of shares. Um, so here you're gonna put in the amount, so I'm gonna try a dollar. And what that means is as we see right here, there are no fees associated and I will be able to buy with one Canadian dollar 0.0078 shares of RBC and as we see there, there are zero fees as far as their commission goes, and the total landed cost will be a single Canadian dollar. So what's unique about this is that you are now able to put in a dollar amount so that you're specifying, I wanna buy X amount of dollars worth of the particular stock. And apart from that, it's worth noting that this is a unique scenario where these stocks that you're buying at fractional shares will only be executed at the end of the trading day. So say you see that the price is at like a favorable amount and you wanna buy it right now. The fractional buy will not allow you to buy it at the current price, rather it will only execute at the end of the trading day. So what would be a video on this channel if I didn't mention Tesla somewhere? So I'm gonna be taking a look at potentially purchasing a share of Tesla, more specifically a dollar's worth, so it's trading at around 659 US dollars. And because that pie icon is there, it means that fractional buys are available. And when we go to click that, it'll show us that a dollar, so a US dollars worth of Tesla shares buys you approximately 0.0015 shares at a cost of one US dollar. 
it's worth noting here that the exchange rate does get altered a little because it's factoring in the 1.5% uh, markup that's charged by Wealthsimple. So yes, there are still no commissions, but then the total cost will be $1.27 Canadian because of that exchange rate as well as Wealthsimple's fee. So because this is within my TFSA account, I will not be buying a US stock within that because it makes no sense for me. But if any of you wanted to do that, or if you just wanted to buy a US stock within your Wealthsimple account, just keep in mind that exchange rate and Wealthsimple's fee because it does take up a little bit of your money, which can be used elsewhere. With Wealthsimple introducing this amazing new feature, you no longer need hundreds or thousands of dollars to get started with investing. All you need is as little as a single dollar. Whether that's the change at the end of the week from all of your coffee runs or your birthday money or just spare change that you find laying around around your house. You could get started with shares in Apple or Tesla or Facebook or Royal Bank, whatever have you. But it is worth noting that because these are fractional shares that you're buying, you're also only entitled to a fractional portion of their dividends if applicable. Fractional buys offer a new opportunity for anyone looking to start with investing and I hope you learned a lot from today's video because those good old bank stocks are definitely an amazing opportunity for you to get started whether it's building a growth portfolio or a dividend portfolio. Check out the rest of the videos on my channel to learn and see how you can prepare yourself to begin investing. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did drop a huge thumbs up down below and let me know in the comments below whether you'll be using this fractional buy feature and what stocks you're looking to pick up. If you learned something new, share that knowledge with some of your friends and family and share this video so that everyone can start learning as well. And until then, subscribe if you already haven't, and I'll see you next time.